Muy buenas mis queridos fortuneros y fortunatos, ¿cómo va? Vamos a seguir con la historia de este apasionante videojuego. Ah, pero eso sí, antes les recuerdo. Denle like a este video, comenten, suscríbanse a mi canal, compartanlo, activen la campanita de notificaciones si se sienten millonarios. Pueden hacerme llegar alguna ayudita mediante los links de Mercado Pago y Cafecito que hay en la descripción del video. Y si quieren contar con contenido exclusivo, pueden hacerse miembros de mi canal. Una vez recordado este asunto, sigamos. Bien, bien, bien. Ahora teníamos que ir al... Bah, no sé si teníamos que ir o no, pero vamos al puente Mauglin. The Maudlin Bridge was one of ten bridges that linked the city of Ankh to the city of Morpork. It was an unremarkable structure, most famous for the number of suicides it attracted. The trouble with trying to drown yourself in the Ankh is that you're more likely to break a leg falling onto the thick crust of the river than actually come near any water. Still, if you were heavy enough, you could eventually sink into the depths. I can think of nicer ways to go, though, and much quicker ones, too. Bien, a ver. I wasn't about to scrape the marks off the bridge. I wasn't strong enough to bend the railings back into shape, and frankly, what would be the point? Muy bien, pero tengo que agarrar algo acá. No parecería que no, no es cierto. I suppose I could have attached the grapple to the railings and rappelled down to the river. <laughs> But that was a dangerous way of searching the river. I had a feeling there was a better way to use the grapple to search the river. There was something down there. I was sure of it. But I wasn't strong enough to pull it up. I wasn't about to scrape the marks off the bridge. De acuerdo, de acuerdo. ¿A dónde tendremos que ir ahora? El tercer de Rodan, ¿no te da mal aquí todo ahí? Ah, porque que porque malaquito me puede ayudar. Well, I'm back. Listen carefully, Malachite. I've been patient with you. And you owe me a favor. I need you to use the grapple to pull something out of the river Ark. I don't know for sure what it is, but it's big. Too big for me to lift. But you could do it. And I figure you owe me one. Fine, Sarah! Huh? All right! You big, dumb troll. I'll carry on looking for Therma if you help me get this thing out of the river. Do we have a deal? I pull thing. You find Therma. Yes. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Or something. Whatever you want scratched. Like with <laughs> want scratching. Find Therma. Okay. You pull thing. I find Therma. Got it? Need grapple. That may be the first intelligent thing you've said to me. Ready now? You lead with pleasure. I hadn't been able to move whatever it was in the river. Malachite pulled it up onto the bridge like it was made of paper. I wasn't surprised to learn it was Reagan's carriage, but it still wasn't clear how it ended up going off the bridge. Amidst the wreckage, I found a small ornamental box. But before I could examine it in detail, Malachite took an interest. I didn't want to give it to him, but he looked like he'd rupture a fault line if I didn't. He kept insisting that the box proved that Therma was alive, 
or at least that's my best interpretation of what he was trying to say. With his usual annoying habit, Malachite just walked off, taking the box with him. That left me to get back to my usual habit of not really knowing what was going on. <laughs> Bien, así que vamos a examinar de nuevo acá a ver si... El cadáver de Rashin. I searched Reagan's body, but all I found was a pair of tiny bite marks on his ankle. Hmm. Either he'd been bitten by a snake or a very small vampire. There was no doubt that it was Reagan, and there was no doubt that he was dead. The poor sap must have suffocated in the ank. Bueno, entonces vamos a ver si se puede registrar algo acá. No, o sea, registramos. But I'd already found everything of interest. The remains of a crate was all that was left. Bueno, entonces habrá que ir a la mansión Overblown para decirle al coso que murió. I see sir has returned. Sir has. Who would sir like to see? Is the Count receiving guests? No, but he will see you. I've got a few more questions for you, Count. Uh, yes, uh, questions. Go on. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. It's Reagan, isn't it? He's dead. I'm afraid so. I found his carriage near the Maudlin Bridge. It must have lost control and skidded into the river. Reagan must have drowned, or suffocated. It's hard to say in the river like the Ankh. Very well, of course. I will pay you for your time. If you should hear anything else in connection with this case, please let me know. Otherwise, consider the case closed. There is one thing. I think Reagan may have been involved with a troll singer named Therma. I'm not really sure about the details. I'm sort of investigating the Therma case at the moment, but since I'm not getting paid for it, I may have to give it up. Indeed. <laughs> How would you feel if I were to pay you for the Therma case and you continued to investigate it? Hmm? I'd feel a little bit richer and a lot happier. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Bien, bien. Algo más para contarle. No, parece que no, así que bueno. I'll be back later. I look forward to it. Bueno, ¿dónde tendremos que ir ahora? De pecho de luto, a ver si te. Ajá. I knew that someone had pushed the card under the door, and I knew what it meant. It meant that I should have fitted a letterbox. <laughs> have arranged meeting with Therma on the rooftop at the junction of Sally Street and Phaedra Road. Come immediately. Sally and Phaedra. There wasn't much around there. Nice and quiet. Well, no broke here. Saturna, acá. I decided to go on alone to meet with Therma, but when I reached the rooftop, she wasn't there. As I waited, I started to think about the situation. The more I did, the more I decided that I ought to go and. Ah, da, 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 da. Frankly, hooking him up with Therma was probably the only way to get him off my back. De acuerdo. Maybe it would help me get some answers out of Therma too. Well, I'm back. It's not been easy, but I've arranged a meeting with Therma. Oh, take me there. Take me to Therma. In a moment. First, there's a couple of things we need to discuss. Take me to Therma. Take me now. Okay, okay, let's go. The rooftops above Salis and Fedra were quiet. No one had a reason to be up here. 
I was looking forward to meeting the mysterious Therma, and I was hoping I might get some answers out of her. Unfortunately, the last thing I remember was looking up at the moon. Huh? The next thing I knew, I was being arrested by the Watch. They told me Malachite was as dead as two sides of bacon, and I was the prime suspect. <laughs> His back had been chipped away like he'd said something particularly insulting to a disgruntled quarry workman, and they seemed to think my crowbar was the murder weapon. I had the opportunity and a possible murder weapon. All they were missing was motive. And anyone who had ever tried to get an intelligent comment out of the troll had a motive to kill him. Pobre it Malachita. looked like I'd been stitched up as nicely as a fine genuine tapestry. They took me to Pseudopolis Yard to be interrogated. They had a salamander lamp shining in my eyes so I couldn't see what was going on. But I could hear Nobby and a troll talking in the darkness. It was probably Detritus, the first troll to join the Watch. Detritus was the troll many people in Ankh-Morpork thought of when they heard the word troll, bringing back as it does vague memories of sudden concussion and extreme pain. Sometimes you'd hear two short planks being described as thick as Detritus. Your ideal street cop, in fact. So I'm the good cop? No. I'm the good cop. You're the bad cop. <laughs> Dad, why don't I get to approach him a bit with my fists? Because we're supposed to get information out of him and it's hard to understand people talking through a mouthful of loose teeth. I can smash lightly. More like a gentle caress, right? No. No punching. Uh, I can kick using minimal <laughs> acceptable force. Like... Mr. Vine says, lots of it. No, no punching, no kicking. We just talk to him. Talk? Right, well, I'll talk. You shout. All right, you've done it. Own up now, we know it was you. No, no. <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, all right. I've just got to start the audiograph. Right. All right, you've done it now. You've got to sing like one of them flappy twittery things. Wait. I've got to start the recording properly, otherwise it doesn't count. Right. Interviewing Suspect Luton. Present, Corporal Nobbs and Sergeant Detroitus. Now? Now. All right, you've done it. You might as well make it easy on yourself, everyone, know it was you. This is my interrogation, is it? Don't you change the subject, you miserable excuse for our horses, mm? don't you? Just tell us what happened, Luton. Here the facts. Fact. Monty was killed. You found it the murder scene. I was unconscious. How you knowing you was unconscious? If you was unconscious, eh? <laughs> Foiled you with logic. Now do you listen to me good, and then we see you <laughs> the long two-legged goblins. Fact. Escape thingy, Mount Malachite. Thingy? You mean troll? Nah. Not escape troll. Escaped, uh... Feline. Escaped feline? Yeah, he escaped from a holding cell. Is it possible the word we're looking for here is felon? That's the one. What did he do? Hey, we asked the questions, you miserable Arugaraha. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Arugaraha means? He knocked over the Van Uberwild <laughs> mansion. I never knocked over the Von Uberwald mansion. Now that's what Malachite did. So what does Arugraha mean? In the precise moment that dog turns <laughs> turn white. I think you'd better get back to being the bad cop. I'm the good cop. Now I'm the good cop. <laughs> so that made me uh, the bad cop. So how come I not get to hit you then? Can't beat him up, Detroitus. That'd be police brutality. The only brutality if you leave marks. What show? Escape thingy, Mount Malachite. Was killed, and you was found at the murder scene there too. Once again, I was unconscious. Oh, how convenient for you. 
two murders and two unconscious goodness, good, good, goodnesses. <laughs> what about the murder weapon, eh? What about the crowbar? Tell us where you got the crowbar, and I'll give you a smoke. One of your dog ends? No, thanks. I'll get you coffee. Maybe some cherry cake. New suit. You get to choose the color. <laughs> I, I think you're taking this good cop role too seriously. Thank you. Now, my turn. You want to fall down the steps to the cell without leaving your chair? It's fine by me. I'm not guilty, and I refuse to feed your suspicions and paranoia by consenting to this charade. I thought charades were a game. Like, chase my neighbor up the passage. <laughs> no, you need a pack of cards for chase my neighbor up the passage. Not where I come from. We tried to do you a favor. We could give you to the lawyer's guild. <laughs> you don't want that, Luton. It eats you alive. You don't have anywhere near enough money to be innocent. Haven't you got better things to do than harass me? We harass you because you is guilty. We know you've done it. That's enough, Detritus. Sir? You can go. I did it right? Let's say you were everything I expected. Now go and write up the report. Not in crayon this time, please. That should keep him busy for a few days. He may be slow, but he's not an untrustworthy killer like you. Why the personal interest in this case, Vimes? I'm sure you've got more important things to do now you're commander of the watch. My reasons are my own. You're not interested in my guilt or innocence. You're just out to nail me. Frankly, Luton, I've got all the evidence of your guilt I need. And if I get my way, they'll lock you up and melt down the <laughs> key for scrap iron. You're a bad cop, and I don't have any time for you. If you're so convinced of my guilt, why the interrogation? Nobby has this deranged idea that there might be some extenuating circumstances that we ought to find out about. It'd make everything a lot easier if you'd confess, Luton. I'm sure you had a good reason to do what you did. Let us help you. Cigarette? Holiday for two in Querm, sea face in room. <laughs> I'm not guilty and I'm not confessing to a crime I didn't commit. Listen to me, Luton. We're conducting this interrogation because I believe in upholding the law. There is no law in Ankh-Morpork. Pork. True enough. But there's my law, and there's the patrician's law. Which would you rather face? What's the difference? A Lord Veterinary considers it a happy state of affairs if the punishment can involve the actual perpetrator, but sees it as by no means essential. I consider it to be absolutely essential. But you've already decided that I'm guilty. That doesn't mean I've proved it. And if I prove my innocence? That's not going to happen. Then what's the point of this farce? Smoke? No. The thing is, Luton, we just want to find out what happened. Do one decent thing in your life, Luton. Help us close this case. Why should I? So we can close this sorry little act and concentrate on the threat to the city. The threat. The counterweight killings. Surely you have other suspects for the murders I'm accused of, even if you don't think they're part of the counterweight killings. Uh, smoke? A set of the complete plays of Well the Dwarf <laughs> bound in nearly real leather. No, I don't want a smoke. I want to know who the other suspects are. At the moment, you're top of our list. Although you are the bottom of our list, too. I am the list, aren't I? Sorry. Don't apologize, Nobby. Listen, Luton. There are other suspects for the counterweight killings, and we're investigating those. But for Monday and the troll, you're the bottom line. What about Horst? What does Horst have to do with anything? He's been watching me. He's up to something. He's always up to something. But he's not a murderer. Not by his own hand, anyway. He'd never be so careless as to carry out a murder himself. He's not that dumb. What about Al Kali? Al Kali? One of Horst's cronies. I think he's been following me. I guess I could interview him. Why do I have a feeling that you won't? Face it, Luton. You killed Mundy. You killed Malachite. And you tried to make it look like it was part of the counterweight killings. What about Reagan? 
the dead dwarf. What about him? Another murder in suspicious, almost ritualistic circumstances. He's a nobody, but it has all the hallmarks of a counterweight killing. Are you confessing to the murder of Reagan? <laughs> no. I'm just saying that Mundy and Malachite aren't the only nobodies to get bumped off in mysterious circumstances. There was nothing mysterious about Reagan's death. People don't just drive carriages off a bridge for no reason. He was driving recklessly across the city. It's probably just a suicide. Maybe he was just drunk. What about the bite marks? Bite marks? There weren't any bite marks. I looked. Reagan was murdered. I'm sure of it. You've got bigger problems than that right now, Luton. I suggest you concentrate on them. No, rendition, no. It make more sense that both Mundy and Malachite were killed by this so-called counterweight killer. That's what you'd like us to believe, isn't it? You make the murders look like the counterweight killings and hope to get away with it. That's it, isn't it? You're not interested in me. You want to catch the counterweight killer. You're just a low-life killer, Luton. My job is to protect citizens from people like you. What? You don't even like them much. You think they're all criminals. Maybe. But murder leaves the place too messy. Look, Luton, we don't think you're involved with the counterweight killings. But we have to know which ones are which if we're going to stop him from killing again. This is your chance to be a hero. To help us to catch a foreign assassin. A hero? There's nothing I can do to save myself. Why should I care about the rest of the city? You were a good man once, Luton. This could be your one <coughs> shot at redemption. I was never that good a shot. You ought to know, Luton, that you're a suspect in the counterweight killings. That crowbar of yours was palace property, which means you had access to at least one of the murder sites. You're getting desperate, aren't you? We're wasting our time with you. Will you explain to me why you're so confident that Mundy and Malachite weren't killed by whoever was responsible for the rest of the counterweight killings? Everyone else has been sort of important. Mundy and the trial were nobodies. Quiet, Nobby. You're crazy. You think you've found a pattern and you're forcing everything else to fit it. We're doing our job. Rendición? Nothing I say is going to convince you of my innocence, is it? It doesn't look that way. All right. Yes, I was in Mundy's room when he was killed, but I was unconscious. And yes, I was on the rooftops when Malachite was killed. Again, I was unconscious. I don't know what happened, but somebody knocked me out. And whoever they are, they're the one you should be looking for. Fine. If that's the way you want it, that's the way you'll get it. Give my regards to Lord Veterinary when your trial comes up. I doubt he'll be as patient with you as I have. The fact is, mister, that with you behind bars, the city will be a slightly better mm. place. Yeah. They delivered me into the hands of the palace guards, who delivered me into the walls of a holding cell. I had a bad feeling about the way things were going. Mostly people who were sent to the patrician for trial got seen right away. Rumor had it that being put in a holding cell pending trial was like being filed away in a drawer marked forgotten. And not a very big draw at that. De acuerdo. Hmm. I could find nothing out of the ordinary about the wall. The wall to the cell had a nice dank feel to it. I expect it was cell wall of the month in Home and Dungeon. <laughs> I pounded on the door, but no one seemed to care. The door to the cell was so stereotypical, I half expected to look around and find a bearded old man, manacled to the wall. Bueno, a ver... No, pero ya me habrán registrado, ¿no? Sí. Ajá. Fast little fellow, he disappeared the moment I started moving. A ver, para, para. No matter what I did, that rat was too quick for me. The rat had disappeared in a small crack in the wall. The question was, where had he gone? 
As I worked my fingers around the crack, it became Have clear that the crack was the side of a loose slab. The other side of the wall was another cell, but nothing like the holding cell. This was full of sketches and models, tools and materials. It looked more like a workshop, and there was someone working in it. Oh, would you like a cup of tea? Uh, no, thanks. Are you sure? Or are they not drinking tea outside anymore? Outside? The city. I take it you're from the city. How is it? <laughs> Same as ever, I suppose. You're Leonard de Quirm. Leonardo de Quirm, in vez de Leonardo da Vinci. Leonard de Quirm. The man was almost a legend. There was no disputing that Leonard was a technological genius. But this meant he was as dangerous to the precarious stability of Ankh Morpork as a compulsive smoker in a firework factory. Rumor had it that the patrician had locked him in a nice airy cell for everyone's safety, because Leonard was the kind of guy who'd light any fuse for the innocent pleasure of seeing what kind of bang he could make. The only other thing I could recall was that although the guy was hot stuff at the nuts and bolts, he was definitely at the bottom of the class when it came to thinking up names. The patrician keeps you imprisoned here, hmm? Is that it? You're working for the patrician? Uh, not really. He calls from time to time and has a look at some of my sketches. Nice man. He keeps me abreast of events on the outside. What's that you're working on? Ah, this is my flapping wing flying device. I built a small prototype out of gutta percha strips twisted tightly <laughs> together and it worked. Although not very well. Now I'm building a full scale model. Does it fly? Uh, not yet. But once I've solved the problem of the weight of the holding it together frame and the mechanical faults with the spinning blades radiating from the central hub, it should do. I was having trouble getting enough force to twist the blades together, but the troll the other week sorted that out for me. Troll? Yes. He was staying in your room before you. He made this window for me so I could watch the bird. Always good for inspiration are the birds. Uh, not that I don't have enough inspiration as it is. Damn things. Just once I'd like to wake up without finding my sheets covered in sketches of novel designs for apple peelers. Did you give the troll some metal strips by any chance? Yes. He made them into a metal hook with prongs, I believe. Uh, not one of my designs. His name was Malachite. Was it? It's possible. I never was good with names. Bueno gente, por el momento vamos a dejar a Newton en la celda con Leonardo de Quern, pero hasta el próximo video solamente. Bueno gente, nos estamos viendo el próximo gameplay, espero que les vaya gustando el ritmo que va tomando esto, me gusta, aunque me parece una película con juego, bueno, dejo de hablar, adiósito gente, nos estamos viendo.